Snyder's spending. The governor under fire for racking up big legal bills on the taxpayer's dime. There are a lot of lawyers making a lot of money off the Flint water crisis. And as you might expect, uh, Governor Rick Snyder has hired his share to defend him, but the dollar amounts really raising some eyebrows. Now, Local 4 defender Kevin Dietz has been looking into Snyder's spending, and Kevin, what have you found out? Yeah, Governor Snyder asked the taxpayers to put up $1.2 million for additional attorneys for his legal fees. At $6,500 per day, he's going to burn through that in no time. Governor Rick Snyder is burning through tax dollars for defense attorneys, over $6,000 a day to outside law firms. His original plan to spend $1.2 million now looks low, outraging some Metro Detroiters. That's taking out of my, my money, your money, his money, everybody out here money, you know what I mean? So, no, I, I don't agree with it. I think it's horrible. Remember, Snyder has access to dozens of state paid staff attorneys, but has decided to hire additional top notch criminal and civil defense attorneys. First of all, that money should go to the people of Flint, period. Taxpayers say use the money for roads, parks, and people, not the governor's legal bills. Not if it's coming from tax dollars. I think that should be used for the citizens, for the cities. Like fixing up houses, like fixing up the neighborhoods. And now, Governor Snyder has been told to stop investigating Flint. U.S. Attorney Barb McQuaid, along with Michigan's Attorney General and the Ingham County Prosecutor, saying in writing, Snyder's internal investigations may inadvertently be obstructing their criminal investigations. The governor quickly responding, saying, quote, In the interest of cooperating fully with these authorities, we have asked the Office of the Auditor General and the DHHS Inspector General to temporarily suspend their internal investigations until further notice. We do not have the authority to order the Auditor General to suspend his investigation, but the governor has made the request. The governor says he was very open and vocal about the fact that he wanted to investigate top to bottom any agency that was involved in what went wrong in Flint. He says this is the very first time he's heard that his investigations may get in the way of criminal investigations that are going on. Kevin Dietz, Defender. $6,000 a day, that is just an astronomical number. Kevin, what about the investigations that are already finished, though? Do we know? Yeah, so the governor uh, had uh, several investigations done. A couple of those are complete, but the feds have asked him not to release the findings of his investigation because he doesn't want, or they don't want those findings to get out and somehow interfere with what they're doing mm -hmm. in their look at the criminal side of things. Yeah. Okay. All right, Kevin, we appreciate it.